All right, so I was playing a little bit with uh, this uh, awesome add-on called Bygen in Blender. Uh, it works only with the Blender tree. So I just want to show you quickly a little thing I found to transform your node into uh, a mesh. So we're going to take uh, the classic cube. I'm just going to I'm just going to extrude this on the Z. There we go. And we're going to have the add the Bygen nose we're gonna go with this uh no scale flare and one thing i notice is uh, you can go apply of course you go by wet paint and you just try you try to do something but it's not working so the reason is it's probably because the resolution of my cube is not good enough so what to do so i'm just gonna go back to my object control four let's go keep it as a cube And now if I apply this with paint, I have more liberty to move it around because the resolution is better. The other thing I notice is um, in the geometry node, uh, you can also play, of course, with the density, like uh, instead of this, I will go with the, like say fewer, and you can increase the size of it by uh, randomizing the size here to like that. So that create a pretty uh, interesting shape. So let's put more here. Um, and now the the advantage of doing this is to eventually to be able to export that as a mesh. And one thing to 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 make this is if you try to do it right now, it will not will not export anything. So you have to add a little node called Realize Instance, and this little guy will allow you to take this whole thing and make it as a full mesh. So if you go back to this uh, mode and you do and convert to mesh, then now you have a fully editable mesh uh, where it was not the case with the node. And now what I recommend to do, of course, is just to decimate this a little bit because it's pretty big. So let's put this like 10 of it, or maybe it's too much, 0.5. And then you, now you have something a little bit nicer that you can use in a game or something like that. All right, thank you, bye-bye.